How's it going everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Countdown video. We only have 108 days left until the game's release on December 7th, and today we will be talking about a fake leak made by a few of my subscribers in the Discord. Because we know this leak is fake, take this whole video with a grain of salt and realize I am talking about this 100% for fun. However, their post was actually removed from Game Facts, which means maybe they got a few things right, who knows. But because it was removed, I cannot share the link in my description. So now, let's jump right into their awesome fake leak. So once again, this leak was made by a few of my subscribers in my Discord channel, so if you have not yet already, I highly recommend you join my Discord. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel because if we hit 2,000 subscribers by Sunday, August 26th, I will be giving away 3 Nintendo eShop gift cards instead of just 1. Their leak starts by saying, Hello Smash fans, I have some information about the upcoming Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. My source is someone that had access to the project plan for the game. This is what they told me. The new fighters are Skull Kid, Rayman, Banjo and Kazooie, Geno, Isaac, Lloyd Irving, Gardevoir, Bandana Waddle D, Wonder Red, and Incineroar. The other Echo Fighters are, Ninten as an Echo Fighter of Ness, Black Shadow as an Echo of Captain Falcon, Felix as an Echo of Isaac, Shadow as an Echo of Sonic, Isabelle as an Echo of Villager, Dixie Kong as an Echo of Diddy Kong, Impa as an Echo of Sheik, Ken as an Echo of Ryu, and Gothitelle as an Echo of Gardevoir. Then they talk about the mystery mode. The mode is not called Spirits. Spirits was the code name given to the mode because of the contents. It is a subspace slash adventure mode hybrid that revolves around a heroes versus villains theme. The final name was not specified on the project plan. Smash run, events, and break the targets return, and will be in games and more. Target blast is absent from the plan. Then we have new assist trophies including Malo, Shantae, Creeper, Magalore, Wonder Blue, and Paper Mario. After that, we have some new Pokeball Pokemon. We have Magnemite, Zapdos, Articuno, Poipole, Magierna, Beedrill, Azelf, Mespirit, Uxie, Mudkip, Primarina, and Rayquaza. Rayquaza will appear as both a Pokeball Pokemon and return as a boss. There is a new 16-bit dungeon crawler mode. This is a mode where you play as one of the original 12 to gather goodies such as CDs and trophies. From there we have a couple new stages. We have Pokey Floats, which is updated with new Pokemon, the Venus Lighthouse, Studioopolis, the Dream Forest, Blossom City, and Towers of Salvation. This is all the info I have. Have a good night. So now that we've gone over the leak in detail, let's talk about it. So first of all, I would just like to give you a thank you to the people who actually wrote this leak. I think it's really well written. It's actually one of the best written leaks I've ever covered on this channel. So if I didn't know it was you guys who covered it, I would say this had a really good chance of being real. So first of all, in terms of the new non-Echo Fighter characters, I honestly think that this leak hits the nail right on the head. I think that every single character on this list has a very good chance of making it into the game, which makes this leak very believable. I think that the fact that they included Geno, Banjo and Kazooie, and Bandana Waddle D makes it very believable, but they also added in a couple of unexpected characters like Wonder Red and Gardevoir, which is something that Sakurai would do in real life, and is something that we are all expecting him to do, adding characters that nobody really saw coming. After that, we take a look at all the brand new Echo Fighters, and once again, all of these characters have a very good chance of making it into the game as Echo Fighters. You have your shoe ins like Shadow, Isabelle, and Ken, but you also have your surprise characters like Black Shadow, Felix, and Gothitelle. So overall, I think that this was very well written in terms of the new characters and Echo Fighters. Then we move on to the new mystery mode, and they say that Spirits is just the codename of what the game actually is. They say that it's a subspace adventure mode hybrid that revolves around heroes versus villains. The thing that doesn't really make sense to me is that we have way more heroes in the game than we do villains. There are a couple characters that could go either way, granted, like King Dedede or Meta Knight, but the only true villains we really have are Bowser, Ganondorf, Ridley, King K. Rool, and a few more, so I find this a little bit unlikely. Then we move on to assist trophies, and honestly I have a little bit of a problem with some of their picks. So Mallow makes a lot of sense since we've been getting Geno, Shantae we already have Shovel Knight as an assist trophy, so Shantae being an assist trophy makes sense. Creeper from Minecraft, I'm not really sure, but apparently we are supposed to get some Minecraft representation in Smash, so I guess so. Magalore, yeah, he makes sense. Wonder Blue, we are getting Wonder Red as a playable character, so he should have an assist trophy. And then Paper Mario. 
I don't know why you decided to make Paper Mario an assist trophy, but I bet it was to hurt my feelings, so congratulations, you did that. Then we have the new Pokemon, and I think it's really interesting that they decided to make Rayquaza both a Pokeball Pokemon and a boss, but I guess if Rathalos can be both an assist trophy and a boss, so can Rayquaza. And then I think that the 16-bit dungeon crawler mode sounds really cool, so I really hope that ends up happening. After that, I really hope Poke Floats 2 does end up happening, so I'd be very happy if these were the new stages we ended up getting. So overall guys, this was a very well written leak, it was honestly one of the best that I've read so far, so thank you guys so much for sending it in to me. As for the rest of you, what did you guys think about this leak overall? Would you be happy if we got something like this in our final game? Why or why not? Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.